Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's take a look at Geofabric one more time. A um, lot of people, a lot of comments. You said you wrap your gravel, should you not? So I set up a little thing just to show you. You can see we've got a bucket. We've got a piece of fabric. This is landscape fabric, Geofabric, some people call it. And basically, that bucket's empty. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick a garden hose on here and see what happens. So you can see how much actually flows off of this thing. And again, this water's sitting there. Look how long it takes for this water to get down into the system. I mean, it's not long, but long enough. Imagine this covered with clay and sticky this water is just gonna run off of this. It's not gonna get into the gravel or the perforated pipe at all. I mean, we're talking here, you know, a minute or so, just to remove, you know, less than a three, four ounces of water. You can see it just sits against the side. I'm just letting it run so you can see. It's, it's going down in there, and yeah, if I push on it, maybe it'll go a little faster, but I doubt it. That water's just sitting there against the side. True, it does get down into the, you know, to your gravel, but remember that we're putting here, gravity's pulling it down. The way the system works is that there's gravel at the bottom, water's flooding up into your trench and is being carried away. How fast this stuff works? Well, this is the example. Again, I'm not a big believer in fabric, and I'll show you another reason why. So, you know, back in the day, 30s, 40s, even before that, um, this was called field tile and you can see it's just a round four inch pipe it's made of cement and what they did was at the footer level if this is the footer right here what they did was they laid these tiles and they just butted together and you can see that there's a seam here that runs all the way around they didn't even put gravel down there basically what water did was flooded up into those seams of the pipe and of course the pipe runs level across the footer but as that filled up with water it was carried away. There was no such thing as fabric. There was no geofabric. Yes, they could have used they could have used gravel, you know, to surround the pipe, put that on top of it, and it would have helped even better. The point is that this system the point is that this system is still in use today. Homes built over a hundred years ago. If this is at the footer level and is properly installed, it still works great. Does dirt get into here? Of course it does. But it's just a matter of time until this system you know, fails. But to date, many homes, millions of homes, still have field tile as the footer tile that sits down along their foundation wall. And it keeps their basement or their crawl space very dry. Let's go ahead and look at today's material, perforated pipe. This is you know, today's material, perforated pipe. It has holes you know, all, you know, at the bottom of the pipe. You could also buy slotted pipe, but we're gonna make the example with this. And of course, today, people put gravel down at the bottom, holes point down, so that as water rises in that trench along the footer, it goes into those holes and is carried away. So the question remains, you know, we cover this with gravel, but the question remains, should you wrap it with fabric? Again, I just showed you a reason why not to. Um, it doesn't really matter. If you do it with fabric, you do it with fabric. If you don't, you don't. I think your system's gonna last the same amount of time, 15 to 25 years. And at that point, you're gonna have you know, a basement problem. I'm not a big believer in fabric because when you wrap it, it's really hard for that water, especially down in the clay, for that water to get through here into your system. And it kind of stays around the outside, which seeps across the footer and into your crawl space or your basement. If you have a sand base, you know, if you're in a sandy area where the soil is all sand, of course, this fabric works great because, you know, the sand won't, the water can run through the sand and easily get into here. Gravel perforated pipe. So you got your holes, they point down into the system. Then,
again, if this is your footer down here, if this cloth is the footer, and this pipe is sitting on or right beside the footer, water's gonna flood up through this gravel. There's thousands of voids in here. Water just rises up, and what it's doing is it's flooding up into those holes, and then the pipe carries it away. So if you wrap it, So if you're going to wrap this, your trench is here, you lay out your fabric, and of course you fill it up, maybe pin it, whatever you want to do, and there's your footer tile. It's encased in gravel and in fabric. Remember, the fabric really slows down the water, plus once it gets inside of here, it doesn't move. You know, it can't really escape again. I think the gravel system without this fabric works a lot better. Bring that gravel much higher. You know, give it more of a life expectancy. The more gravel, the longer it's gonna last. You know, so to be honest, anything you do down there on your foundation wall when you get down to the footer is gonna work. If you wrap it with fabric, it's gonna still work. It just works a little slower. I like the gravel. If you just do gravel perforated pipe, it's gonna work. It might work a little bit better. It really depends on how well you install that pipe. Remember that it does run level. So that the more gravel that you get underneath, the more gravel on the top, the better the chances are of that area staying dry. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.